Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin's Big Twain Drop. Hope you're having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm a professional trader. Okay, those of you that are regulars, yeah, I don't have my logo at the bottom of the screen. I'm on a new computer trying to get this recording working and stuff and it hasn't ported over. But we're going to get this update out for you because we are pretty late already. So let's get this going. I'm, I'm going to make it a quick one as well. I'm only going to be talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum today and we'll leave the alts for tomorrow. Okay, uh, another thing here, I do have a webinar every Wednesday. Guys, if the computer is up for it and this is good enough computer, which is being a bit iffy at the moment, but we'll see. Okay, uh, then uh, we'll, we'll have a webinar tomorrow anyway. Sign up on my website. Completely free to pretend I'll be teaching you a strategy how to uh, make money in the markets, right? So short term, mid term, long term for Bitty here coming through. Uh, yeah, that's essentially what we're gonna be going for here. So uh, without further ado, guys, what has happened here in the old Bitcoin markets? We can see, we can see we fell off a cliff here. We fell off a cliff. <laughs> and then uh, we obviously came down, we, we were in the short, on the breakout machine, I would never advise shorting in a bull market, but we do follow the breakout machine blindly with a very, very small percentage of our account, like 1% or something, right? Uh, and uh, it is a high leverage strategy. So we, we're happy with 1% drawing down 80% and back and forth, right? And we know it works over time. We've back tested it for multiple years. It works, okay? So that's why I've test that's why I've taken this trade. Uh, and uh, otherwise, I would say don't do it in a bull market, right? But uh, this was a very nice gain. And now, uh, in terms of predictions, what can we say here, right? Because uh it's an interesting one, just trying to get used to this new computer, it's kind of weird, my mouse speed's the wrong speed as well, but uh, uh, we'll get that sorted. Again, it's uh, it's just computer stuff at the end of the day, right? Everything solvable in computer land, right? So, uh, yeah, not great here in terms of patterns, I would say. Be careful with this one, uh, it's obviously trying to form some kind of descending structure. You could make the argument that we've got a descending triangle here, right? And we could make the argument that these two correlative points uh, kind of confirm that, right? But uh, the fact that they're wicks here on an hourly doesn't really do it for me. And we've got this uh, long progression underneath it like we did uh, the other the other day, actually, when we had our last pullback uh, on the altcoins, right? Um, yeah, it just looks a bit weird to me right now. Again, I am still looking for a long. Uh, and with a long, I'm obviously going to be looking to, to find the perfect spot for that. This is going to load. Hello, mate. You're going to load. Hello. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Uh, if I just get rid of that, I might do it. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, what I'm looking for here, generally, if we go down to a one hour here, uh, this is going to be a little bit more clear cut so you guys know my next position because we are going to make this a quicker video, right? Uh, the next position I'm looking for is, yes, if we get down to 50k, we get back above this volume weighted ATR band, I will be looking for a long, okay? Uh, I'm going to be looking for that, but uh, something to really take note of here is this trend line. This is very uh, not steep at all, I would say, right? This trend line, uh, if you can just... Give me a sec to draw this in. Yeah, so this trend line here, not so steep. Uh, and we're going to have to wait a long time to get above that for it to be a healthy trade. Uh, we also don't really have any patterns, as we just found out here, forming too much, right? Uh, if we can come up from here, uh, potentially we can make some kind of ascending triangle. That would be cool. But as of right now, it's too early to say uh, what could go on here. Obviously, you're going to have Kyle and everyone saying, hey, get my affiliate link, lose money, and I'll take your money from... No, okay. <laughs> All right, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to be too toxic like that, guys. That's, that's not what I'm about. But uh, yeah, head and shoulders here potentially. Uh, and with that head and shoulders, we could come up to the 57s, 58s with that. But again, I don't really play head and shoulders because there's no coiling up there, right? Uh, for me personally, you can see my mouse is too fast. I can't even delete stuff here. Was, did I just delete something wrong? No, I don't know. I don't even know at this point. Uh, yeah, so... What can we do here? <laughs> We're looking to get over 56, right? This 55 EMA is going to be important. If we get over these 200s again, fantastic. Okay, again, we are still in a bull market, so we should expect to recover from here. And this will go down as a dip potentially, right? I did talk about this the other day as well, guys, saying, hey, what's up? BitConnect, we just did like 20%, 30%, right? So a pullback back to this area is completely expected, right? People are talking about this being the top, uh, the end of days here. But guys, really, we can come down uh, even as low as 50 and still recover from here. Obviously, that won't be good, and I will explain why. But...
but uh, it's not the end of the well, right? We know this. Bitcoin loves to trap around these moving averages. Uh, it loves to recover completely, and it loves to continue going up. Bitcoin just goes up, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, not financial advice as well here, guys, on this channel, just to kind of throw that in there. But um, yeah, essentially short term, I would expect to potentially grind back through this, get back above 56, uh, and that would be a potential area. But again, no real trend lines to talk about here um, besides this one coming down, which I'll draw in. But um, yeah, it's not fantastic here, as you can see. If we can go sideways, it's actually better, right? If we can just zigzag around here, do whatever, maybe even make a pattern, get a measure move here, that would be fantastic, right? But as of right now, as I said, a bit too early in, in the, the whole thing to, to say anything, right? So if we get over this trend line, we get over all of these moving averages, that's going to be good, and that's potential area to eye up along, right? But uh, if we don't and we continue down, then we're going to be looking in this next section, this next zone here, uh, for some more consolidation and potential to visit these uh, these lower 50s, uh, really, really, like, the problem with this, though, uh, is if we do visit the lower 50s, we could be activating a giant, giant measure move here all the way down based on this, this massive pattern, right? And uh, again, we are in a bull market. I don't expect this to happen. If we do get down to 50K, I expect a trap and a bounce. Personally, guys, I expect something like that, right? Uh, but we have to be aware of this massive measure move here, and it could cause a bit of a crash coming down to 40K, right? That's where that measure move will be, right? So 40K being a prominent zone, that's also where our volume weighted ATR band is on the four hour, okay? But overall, we're still inside this pattern. We are still good. Uh, and if we can get back above that volume weighted ATR band on the four hour, this red one that we did kind of trap over with the weekend traps here, uh, as you can see, right? If we get back above that bad boy, we are back in the game for a potential 19%, right? Again, I'm not really phased uh, to see what, I'm not really phased, uh, obviously I'm phased to see what happens, but <laughs> I'm not really phased what happens, okay? Because if we do come down here, uh, I do expect a recovery and a trap around this area, around the 50 zone, uh, and the longer we spend down here, something like this, right, uh, coming into the end of March here, which was be kind of brutal, obviously we want trades now, we want to make money now, but um, yeah, if we do come over this area and we do long this out a little bit, then uh, it's going to bring this trend line down. It's going to make uh, a lot more people bearish. It's going to coil up Bitcoin a lot more. And then when we do break out there, we're going to have a nice entry coming out of the blue box. We're going to have take profits all the way up here. Uh, and then we're going to potentially test this trend line again at 60K uh, to close out that trade, right? So that's what I would say there. Just banged my elbow on a radiator. That kind of hurt. Just going to be honest. Okay, it's, it's all about the honesty here <laughs> on the channel. Uh, but on, on the other side here, yeah, we can bounce from here quite easy. A recovery is potentially expected here. Uh, and if we are just looking at this one hour, yeah, that 56, 57 zone is going to be important. Uh, really, I just wouldn't touch this until we either break the high uh, or even if you're really cautious here, come up to, uh, to 66 and then whatever pattern forms, uh, we can get a nice breakout on that, right? But as of right now, a little bit iffy. Uh, I wouldn't personally be touching this, guys. Uh, this is okay to wait, sit on your hands for a bit, maybe study a little bit and, and wait this out because right now, a bit iffy, right? A bit iffy. We've made money here. Those of you with the breakout machine, uh, hopefully you did take this trade. Obviously, it's been a bit quiet recently, so uh, I know a few people did miss this. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we got to be prepped for this kind of stuff anyway, right? Prepare for every scenario. We had another short here that a couple people missed, but this was a nice one as well, right? Uh, although this was a brutal one, and I will say, I will say this was a brutal one because we got in a short, it came down, and you can see right? It, it literally banged it all the way down to 47 here. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> if you are kind of newer in the scene, you're going to say, wow, I was looking at however much profit when it was down here. Now it closes back up here. And that's always a bit of a, a, a bit of an ache, right? But again, if you are, if you are experienced, right, it's not really a problem. This is just how the, the, the cookie crumbles at the end of the day, right? Obviously, they're not all wins. We can see that. But I did want to highlight this uh, recently because um, it has it has been waking up a little bit. You can see no trades for such a long time here. Uh, and a few stop outs, I believe, when we were around this area as well. Um, but yeah, just not active at all because it was extremely volatile. Uh, someone in the chat was saying as well that this is potentially uh, a sign that the market could be kind of topping out around this area or or potentially changing its cycle in a sense anyway right uh, here at 20k uh, a quick couple stop losses there right and then before that we had massive 100 percent gains uh yeah we had this huge long here if you remember that that was incredible i think i was like 140 percent uh, because we're obviously on the leverage right uh, and then a, a stop out there and the stop outs are really quick right and not not too many losses and the point of this is to essentially make it even out right and 
obviously it's important it's important to show you guys this and show you guys that it actually works uh but again i'm not really like selling it to you or anything this is just something that that i've made and i'm, I'm kind of proud of and i, I kind of want to show it off occasionally when it does work because uh it is it is cool right it's it's uh, it took a lot of time to put this together like months and months so uh yeah really really cool stuff to see this working um yeah and apart from that you can see when we are in these sideways markets uh, it tries to even out but uh often it, it, it is a stop loss scenario as well right but it's still profitable right it's not like something that that loses a lot of money and, and the, the reason why it's like uh uh you put one percent of your account into it because it, it is known to draw down 80 percent sometimes right um but overall it's done ridiculous gains like thousands of percent uh over the past few years anyway right and those of you that were with me since i started the channel last january i believe it was uh you will know that right you will know uh, all the trades i took with that and how i've been updating it throughout the year as well but uh, really cool stuff here i just wanted to update you guys on that those of you that are ogs uh, but with bitcoin i would say here just to kind of close it out uh yeah we're looking at 52.5 there's not really a lot to say here because we are in this kind of weird area um also another kind of that uh, what what am I talking about here? <laughs> There's a broadening wedge here, right? Uh, we don't we don't play measure moves from broadening wedges because they're not coiling, they're expanding, which uh, doesn't give you a good read on volume, right? So uh, for me, uh, when when we're coiling up like that or something, right, it's going to be better for a measure move. Uh, but obviously, we didn't come down and confirm this, right? So there's no measure move there, but. Yeah, I mean, if we can grind through these, great. And uh, really, if we get over this trend line, even better. I'll probably be looking for a long from this uh, based on the fact that we could potentially have some kind of bigger channel forming here uh, if this does play out nicely, right? Uh, last up, where's our Ethereum, Harry? <laughs> Hammy <laughs> Hamilton? Um, yeah, I was just with my younger siblings the other day, actually. I went to visit them. And uh, yeah, they, they all call me Hammy, so that's where that came from. <laughs> They're like, oh, Hammy. They were like six and that, so cute. Anyway. Just a little bit about me. Uh, what are we say in here? What's Guanin up in here? We can say that Ethereum is actually holding out pretty strong. When you look at Bitcoin, girthy dumpage, and we'll put this on like a, a one hour here just to kind of show you what's gone on here, right? Bitcoin, girthy dumpage. Ethereum, actually not too bad holding out fairly well i would say so uh yeah be cautious with this one if we can get up the this is this measure move is going to be valid uh it is a bit weird uh, as you can see we've got another one of these zones here that we talked about um but overall not too bad we could be looking at a potential ascending triangle if we can find a low somewhere or, or symmetrical triangle in a sense yeah just a triangle we'll call it <laughs> right uh and uh, yeah i mean Coming down a bit more is okay, uh, and really just finding this pattern, because if we don't come down, we do something like this, right, and we do just go up from here, the measure move we're going to have is going to be tiny, right, it's not going to be massive, uh, it's just going to be something like this, right, and with that kind of measure move, it's going to bring us above the volume, which is ATR, and which is good, right, that's a 2k, uh, and then potentially activating these bigger moves as well, but really, I mean, I would prefer this dump a bit more, and I would prefer some longer sideways periods, just so we know where we stand, just so we know where the patterns are, uh, and we can trade this comfortably without uh, worrying about the traps like we've had this weekend, right? So, that's what I would say there, and uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. I, I'm going to try and sort my setup out now. This is going to be a long day, but uh, yeah, wish me luck. Any questions, let me know in the comments, and uh, yeah, apologies for the, the the bad content today but what can you do guys what can you do you've got to roll with the punches here and uh yeah the laptop did arrive late so i didn't have too much time to set it up i just wanted to get a video out for you guys so you know uh what i'm thinking because it is a bit late in the day right so peace out have a fantastic tuesday is it Tuesday? trappy tuesday yeah trappy tuesday i'll see you in the next video peace out guys and goodbye From Bitcoin Beats. <laughs>